Hey everyone, I'm Instructor Brooks. I want to thank you for supporting my channel. Make sure you hit subscribe to join our community. Today I'm going to discuss everything you need to know about the swing phase of gait, and we'll finish, of course, with that test question. So if you're ready to learn something, let's go. every phase of the gait cycle, you should consider three joints. Ankle, knee, and hip. That doesn't mean that there's a muscle contraction occurring at every joint, but it's a great way to make sure you don't forget one. One of the biggest things that most students forget is they think about the ankle and the foot when they're thinking about the gait cycle, and as they go through it, they do everything right for the ankle, but they forget either the knee or the hip. So if you always say, I'm going to look at the ankle, the knee, and the hip, you're always going to be hitting all the joints that you need to hit at the bare minimum. The sixth phase of the gait cycle is early swing. Let's take a closer look and apply that strategy of ankle, knee, and hip. First, looking at the ankle, the anterior tibialis must contract concentrically to get the ankle to neutral dorsiflexion at minimum so that in the next phase, the foot can clear the ground. Moving on up to the knee, we should see the knee flexed about 30 degrees, but not due to the hamstrings. Remember that the hamstrings are not flexing the knee. The knee is flexed due to the energy generated during toe off by the gastrocnemius. The momentum of that phase is pushing the knee into flexion, so there are no knee muscles working here. Finally, at the hip, we see a concentric contraction of the hip flexors to continue to pull the hip into flexion to propel the leg past the stance leg during the next phase. Hey, go answer that test question. True or false? During early swing, the hamstrings flex the knee 30 degrees to shorten the leg so it can pass under the body and pass the stance leg during the next phase of the gait cycle. The answer is false. The literature for most PTA, if not all PTA courses, says there is no hamstring activation to flex the knee at any point in time during the gait cycle, not just early swing. I hope you learned something from this video. Don't hesitate to post questions in the comments section below. Follow me on Instagram at Instructor Brooks. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and become part of our community. If you got all that covered, have an awesome day. And remember, knowledge is power.